everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well it's always a vlog if you haven't been here before i'm a reseller my name is julie also known as mrs england's emporium and i basically sell things that i buy at car boots um sale trails charity shops auctions sometimes and online to make a profit um, and that is my job that's what pays our bills mine and my husband's actually so um yeah let's get into it so today i've gone to the charity shops so i've got plenty of footage to show you i have talked over some of it so let me know what you think in the comments and let's get into it before you go though give me a big thumbs up it really helps me out subscribe if you haven't already why not it's free and you can unsubscribe at any time but don't because this channel's going to keep getting better and hit the bell for notifications right let's see what happens today yeah 20 quid for that mm. No, I'm staying away from the smaller ones now because yeah. they don't really go or they don't go for much. I've got a cup like that. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> I have from when I was little. Yeah, you want my gift, David? 
I still, I still keep getting them. I just, yeah. Right, so I'm having to do a talk over here, which I know all of you enjoy anyway. God knows why, but here I am. Um, they were playing music, so yeah, it's either a silent video or you've got me talking. So this was the scope. Um, the camera angles didn't show that as we're walking in. But yeah, um, still not looking at clothing really, so I'm just basically mooching around here. Went over to the shoes. I don't think there was anything um, worth me looking at here. I don't know whether you noticed in the Age UK, they had a pair of Gabars for fifteen ninety nine, and they weren't in the best condition. Um, so their price is still quite high, or very high, should we say. So going over now to the bric-a-brac, there wasn't a lot here. So there's a lot of sort of pauses of me just basically browsing the shelves. And I was looking for something, anything to jump out at me so I could buy it and, um, you know, show it on camera as well. But there just wasn't anything really. Um, it was all very run of the mill stuff, nothing that jumped out at me. But if you see anything, let me know in the comments what I should have picked up and looked at. Because nobody knows everything and it's always good to learn that, you know, that you should look at this or you should look at that. So if there's anything you see that you think I should have looked at, let me know. And I am sorry about the washing machine in the background. It always likes to kick off when I'm doing this. Um, that was a Snoopy Peanuts I think it's like a waffle maker or a pancake maker, but it was a really modern one. It's like 2016 or something. This teapot, I've seen this teapot before. Now, there was one exactly the same as this in the Age UK in Hessel a while ago, and they wanted £25 for it. So I did the comps and I didn't buy it. This one was £7.50. It's a Sadler teapot. I think it's um, an Elizabeth I one. Um, anyway... I did my Google Lens, as you'll see now, and you'll see what comes up, hence why I bought it. But we think I might have made a mistake here. <laughs> you'll see why in a minute. So I did the Google Lens and I got up these results. And they're amazing, like 125 quid, 100 quid. So they're all listed for that on eBay, the same teapot. So I was like, wow, this is good. £7.50, definitely worth a go. So I thought, well, I'll buy it and see what happens. Anyway, when I got home... I searched for this teapot on eBay and there's some listed as little as £7.50 and the same as what I paid for this but they are starting bids on auctions so I don't know what I'm going to get for this teapot but I did end up buying it you'll see at the end I will show you it but yeah um don't know whether I've made a mistake or not I know a saddler can be really good but yeah I'm not sure I really am 
but I've got it now so I'm lumbered with it if it goes to the car boot then you know that it's um, a fail so yeah I was looking at having a quick browse the curtains here um, nothing there and I went over here and there's some records on the floor so I thought I'd have a quick look there was a Cindy Lauper record but I know that a lot of stuff just isn't worth the time and I was looking at stuff in a charity shop um, which will be in the video a little later looking at some vinyl and they were all really scratched I found two that I thought would be quite decent but they were scratched so bad um, so you can't really see what I'm looking at here but it's all country and western classical you know that sort of thing I think there might have been um, a couple that were half decent but not worth picking up really um, for the money I love that Stranger Things picture. I didn't even notice that when I was in the shop. So that's really cool. I always have a quick browse of the plush. See if there's anything decent in there. Um, it has to be pretty good for me to pick it up. I mean, I'm a sucker for picking up stitches, as we know. I love picking up a stitch toy. But they do sell pretty well from what I can gather. Although the other one that I got hasn't sold as yet. So that was Lisa giving me... A plus size Barbie doll. It is naked, but it was only a pound, so I thought I'll grab it. I was looking at the figures on here. Um, I've been looking for figures to go with the Imagine X stuff that I got from the car boot. Um, no, from the sale trail, sorry. But um, no, I haven't been able to find any. So I've been scouting about seeing if I can find some stuff, but I think hey, I'm just going to have to list them now. So yeah, that was that. A um, little skip there. This is where we are looking at, I believe, a Disney princess. It was like a dome. You can see it in the top corner here. Um, Lisa's got it in her hand. It's like a dome with the rose in out of Beauty and the Beast. It's really nice. And I thought, oh, that could be worth something. So I Google lensed it. And um, yeah, it wasn't really worth me picking up. I think they wanted £3.15 for it. Oh, £3.50 for it, sorry. But you can still buy them brand new on amazon as you could see there and they weren't going for much on ebay not worth me picking up for three pound fifteen and um, that toy that lisa's got in around there is really cute um it did actually um fully work its eyes were blinking and everything but i don't pick up stuff like that anymore because it just doesn't sell so that was left behind as well but yeah i really like that rose i'm a big beauty and the beast fan i actually have a rose in a dome that my daughter bought me which i love it's got lights in it as well it's very beauty in the bay so yeah a little gutted that i wasn't picking that up but sometimes you just can't pick things up just because you like them you've got to make sure that they're worth something haven't you well you should do that all the time really not sometimes but you know it happens doesn't it um yeah quick browse of the shelves nothing really on there um the prices i don't think had come down in this one um, I was saying the other day on my videos that I thought the prices were starting to come down in charity shops and these ones are expensive still. So Lisa picked up this board game. You see it popping in and out in the corner there. It was like an old board game, like a ring tossing game. Um, they wanted 3 dollars for that as well. Anyway, I did a Google lens because it's just the easiest thing to do. Because when you put board game names in, sometimes it brings up every single year's release of it and not the one you've got so it's good to do a google lens to see what you can find and yeah it was okay but it, it wasn't worth me picking up for three pound fifteen and um, three pound fifty i don't know why i keep saying fifteen um to be fair they do keep putting things on for three pound fifteen in our local dove house so that's probably why but yeah um i didn't look at the soil through rate but i was just like Nah, I'm not really interested in buying it. I've got quite a few um, vintage board game things knocking about and they haven't sold. So this is me at the till buying my teapot. Thank you. Um, no, I work, thank you. So here we are at the huge cancer research like superstore that is near to us. I love this shop. It is amazing. I usually get quite a lot of stuff from here. Um, they've got a lot of Christmas stuff out already. I know we don't like to hear that word, but I love it. I have to say, 
I don't know if that should have looked like a browns bag. Let me know in the comments what you think. So here I am moseying on by and um, minding my own business and I come across the special price gold ticket shoe bit. So these are a pair of Vans. So I wanted five pounds for them, but they felt awful. They felt dirty, they felt very worn, and they had a lot of um dirt around the edge. So yeah, didn't get those. And I also looked at some sketches. Um, I can't remember how much they wanted for these. Can we see? Am I going to show us the label? Yeah, £8 for those, but they had a bit of marking on them. And there was one random Joe Brown show, £15. Unbelievable. Yeah, I have no idea where the other one was. I'm, I'm thinking because it was so much, maybe they'd put it in a cabinet somewhere. Um, Why it was that much, I don't know. Um. Some of the prices are crazy at the moment, aren't they? I just can't get my head around them at all. Um, I love this shop because most things are under £3. But there is a lot more that is over 3 now. Um, It used to be that the whole shop was under 3 And there was like one shelving area that was gold ticketed. Now there is a lot of gold ticketed areas shall we say and these dolls i mean whose idea is it to bag these up and on every bag it says do not open bag but you can't check what's in it um they bag them up they price them anywhere from two to five pounds a bag but you can't see what's in there really you can't see the condition or anything i took a punt on a couple of these today though saying that because that one looked like it was quite good there are three official Barbies in there, definitely. I can tell just by looking at them. Don't know what condition they're in, though. So I, I'm, I've made a massive gamble, really. And there's another bag that I've bought, which I still haven't opened. So I'm going to be opening them, opening them when I do the video at the end to show you what I bought. Um, I bought another bag for £3, and I can only see one of the dolls. This one here. So that doll there is a Bratz Girls doll. Um, I'm sure it's Bratz Girls. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, they did lots of different franchises, Bratz. They did the normal Bratz. They did Bratz Girls. They did Bratz Babies. Bratz Ponies. And that one's a Bratz Girl doll. Um, they can do pretty well. So I thought, well, whatever the other two dolls are, it'll be worth getting for £3 just for that. But... One of the dolls feels really sturdy, but it doesn't look like a Barbie. It could be a Barbie, but I have no idea because they've taped them together that well. You can't even move them inside the bag to see what's in there. Oh, man. I don't know. Anyway, I scooted around the other side to have a look what was in the other side of here because I couldn't get through. Massive gap now, of course. Well, I walked all the way around. But, yeah, um, I just wanted to look at the toys, basically. But there was nothing here. I really fancied that chalkboard for myself. But I don't want to be buying anything else that I don't need. I always have a scout at the books. Because I like to look for things that go for good money. Like the Enid Blytons. If there's a lot of Enid Blytons or a big bundle of them, they go for good money. And um, also Point Horrors. I like to find those, although you don't find them very often. Sorry for the flashing footage on here. Um, it's my GoPro that I'm uh, filming on, but don't know why it's doing that. It's a bit a bit flashy and a bit headachey, so I do apologise for that. This was a Hauncey Pottery. I think it was a jug and a, and a saucer. But yeah, um, too much money, £5 for me. Um, I think a lot of people sell Hauncey Pottery. It's nice stuff. It's good stuff, but I don't pick it up. Right, so what was I looking at here? Ah, DVD recorders. So there's two here on the shelf right in front of me with remotes. Brilliant. Could not find on them a tested... You know, you, you get your electricals tested in charity shops and they put a sticker on. There was no sticker on these. So that made me nervous. And when I actually put this first one in to look at, they wanted £15 each for these. So I thought, well, there must be something good. And I had a look and this one I think had sold for, I think it was £59.99, but it did have other accessories with it. I think it had a, a very high um, megabyte SD card. It had a instruction manual as well. This did not and they wanted 15 and I didn't know whether it worked or not. Now, 
I know you like you probably think well you could bring it back but because this is a little bit further away from the you know than where I normally go I'd have to get someone to take me or it'd be quite a long walk it's like an hour's walk um there and yeah an hour there and an hour back so I don't really fancy doing that so I decided to leave it for that reason because I just wasn't confident that it was working I checked this one and this one had only sold for about £30 um, and again didn't know whether it was working or not so yeah I wasn't gonna gamble on those today Um, maybe if there were £10 I might have been tempted but yeah this speaker here there's a black speaker for a, I think it's for a guitar that was £25 I was like, yeah, I'm not paying these prices. It was crazy. Now, these, on the other hand, are lovely. I may or may not have got these, but I'm pretty sure you'll see that I did in a moment. Um, £5 for a load of brass goblets. Um, the box is a little bit on the murky side, shall we say, but they're all really nice inside there. And the really, the velvet inside as well is nice. It's just the box on the outside is a little stained and a little worn. But £5 for those, I was like, yeah. This is why you should always check inside boxes. Always have a look. You don't know what you're going to find. Some of them can be empty. Some of them can be full of rubbish. Some of them don't have what they say they have in or what's supposed to be in there. But it's worth looking. I had to look at those because I thought some headphones can be expensive, but I'd never heard of them. And I just thought, you know what, they might not even work. So I just left them behind. I'm being very cautious at the minute because... I have had a lot of things. Look, there's an iron there. Another iron. Um, yeah, I've bought a lot of things in the past that have been electrical and haven't worked. But recently, I've been quite lucky. That's all I'm going to say about that. Because you'll see that later. But, yeah. Um, Pyrex dishes. Two of them are the same. The other two are not the same. And they wanted £10 for the lot. Um, they tape everything together in here and it drives me mad. I'm like, why? People would buy things separately like i would have bought the two that matched probably for a fiver because they're probably worth it they've got the dish lids and everything but no they do the whole lot for 10 pound nobody's going to buy that and um, this is a rington's tea like anniversary tea caddy and there was a mug with it as well but I was having a look online and they wanted £3.50 for the tea caddy, I think it was, or £3 for the tea caddy, £2 for the mug. But the tea caddy was listed, not sold, for, I think it was 20 So I left it because I was just like, oh, I just can't be bothered. £5 for that, I'm just like, no, it might not go. I'll end up taking it to the car boo and probably not even getting that back for it. So I'm trying to be really strict and not buy things like that. But yeah, you'll probably see in a minute on my screen um, the prices that they've gone for. I did a Google Lens on it and the Google Lens brought stuff up. But I was like, I need to see how much it's sold for. So I had to type it in manually into eBay, then look at the sold that way. Um, and yeah, they work good. Put it this way, I don't think I've... I, th I think I found one that had sold and I think it sold for about £7.50. Yeah, there it is, £7.00. Um, that wasn't even a sold, actually, was it? That was a listed. So I, I went into solds and, yeah, there was nothing, really. Or there might have been one that sold for, like, £7. I can't remember. But it wasn't worth me picking it up anyway. And I do think the one that I found as well was new. Um, This one was not. So, yeah, here I am looking at photo frames. Um, this one was boxed and it did have the tested sticker on it. But it wasn't a brand, as you can see, there's no brand on there. And um, I think they wanted five for that. And then they had another one that was randomly just on the shelf with no box. And it had been used and they wanted six pounds for that. So if anyone can explain that to me in the comments, I'd love to hear it. Because I'm like, why is a brand new one with a box five, but the other one that's been used and on the shelf with no box six? And neither of them were branded. Um, I looked under there then because there were some records on the shelf, but there weren't anything good. Here's me looking at the vinyl. As I've said to you all before, we are now um, buying vinyl because my brother and my husband are teaming up and um, doing it together. So that's all cool. Um, so I was looking through here 
to see if there was anything decent. I found a couple of things, as you will see in a minute, but I won't spoil it for you. I'll talk about that soon. But a lot of this was, you know, the bog standard, your country music and your, and your classical music and stuff that people just don't listen to anymore, really, which is sad, but a lot of this vinyl will... I don't know where it'll go. I really don't. I like to think that it goes somewhere nice that it, where it'll be appreciated, but probably not. It probably gets um, thrown away or incinerated. Um, but a lot of this, yeah, it's not good. Um, so I found a couple. I haven't come across any yet, have I? Um, I found a couple that I thought were half decent. Um, so, yeah, they will be coming up shortly. Anyway, yeah, we, we are delving into vinyl. Because we do come across quite a bit of it. It's not always great, but, you know, people people sell us it, people give us it, and we're just like, we need to have a go. So, yeah, I thought I'd have a look at this Maya. Um, I think that was a 12-inch single. So it probably wasn't worth a great deal anyway, but it was the best thing I'd come across at that point. So I was going to put it back in, and then I thought, no, you know what, I'll check it. I'll see what it's worth cardinal rule here of something that i realized when i was doing this you should before you waste your time check in if something's worth anything you need to check the condition um vinyls can be a minefield there's the nolans yeah i was going to check that because we've had the nolans recently and it's it's worth okay money i think these vinyls are a pound each in here as well which isn't too bad um, so I thought, well, I'll have a look and see what there is. But as you can see, a lot of it is, yeah, it's not great. Um, do you guys ever find any good vinyl in your charity shops? Do you find Johnny Mathis? Because we see Johnny Mathis in every charity shop. I don't think I found a Johnny Mathis album in here today, though. I don't think there was one. I don't remember seeing him, which is really weird. Because every vinyl collection I look through... There is Johnny Mathis. So, what I do here, I'm just about to... Oh, yeah, I flip through these first. thought I'd better have a look at these, see if there's anything here. Again, a whole load of nothing. I mean, some people might like this music, but for resale value and the, for the fact it's going to hang around, you just don't want to be bothered with it unless, unless you've got a record store or you're doing a record fair or something like that, it might go. But I find that the condition... Sorry about that, guys. I find like I find that the condition of records in charity shops can be quite shocking. So, Lisa just brought me over a load of um, VHSs and some DS games to look at here. Now, I have no idea what I'm doing with DS games, so I, I do look those up. VHSs, I'm not really buying anymore because I got rid of the last lot that I got at the car boot. And, um, yeah, I got okay money for them, but I probably got my money back and that is it what I spent in the charity shop. They wanted £5 for that bundle. And yeah, I wasn't going to pay that. So the records, I was just about to start looking and then I thought, right, I need to check the condition first, really, because I'm wasting my time if the condition is bad. And both of these records were scratched to high heaven. They were not good. So yeah, hence why they're probably in the charity shop. So the Nolans, yeah, no one's going to be listening to that anytime soon. It was a state. Um, it wouldn't have played. And the Maya was even worse. I mean, you can see that on screen, how bad that was. I'm shocked that the charity shops put things out in that condition. I really am. Um, so, yeah, these are Nintendo DS games. Some of them can be worth okay money um obviously you've got your pokemons and things like that that are definitely worth looking up um i hadn't heard of a couple of these so i had a little google well a little ebay search should i say tried to do the um tried to do the barcode and it just didn't work for some reason i don't know if i did that wrong probably did no me <laughs> but yeah i was checking this ben 10 game out because i thought it might be decent ben 10 was quite big back in the day and i don't think it is anymore but it's a bit one of those things in it. It could be worth good money. It might not be. But yeah, I can safely say to you that doing a bit of a search on these, they weren't worth picking up for a pound each. So they stayed. But do you all buy games? That's what I want to know. I know there's a lot of resellers out there that do just do gaming. They just do the games and the consoles and all that sort of stuff. Hence why I, I tend to stay away from it because 
I feel like everybody's doing it and I don't I don't want to um basically be doing it either as well because there's a lot of competition out there for it so yeah I'd, I only buy things if they're really good me and Rob picked up a while ago a couple of Pokemon games I think we paid $7.99 for them and we did really well on those so they're definitely worth looking out for but apart from that I'm not bothered so this clock had just come in they were testing it um I asked her how much it was and she wouldn't give me a price she just said, oh, we're testing it at the minute. We're seeing if it keeps time. He you got some, some things to look at. I was like, yeah. So she was like, well, yeah, go have a look around then and come back. Anyway, when I went back, it was gone. And I just thought, can't be bothered. But there is something in here, in this frame that I did buy, which you will see at the end. Um, You'll probably see footage of me picking it up as well, if you're lucky. So keep your eyes peeled. Right, so I found this really cool tower like cooking device i have no idea what it was anyway i google lensed it because it was 12 pound and in the end i don't know whether you actually see it on this bit because i did it a few times because i couldn't find anything there was a lot of stuff that was similar but not the same um but yeah i found some that were similar or some no i found some that were the same on ebay have to find out what it was can't remember for the life of me off the top of my head um i think it was like uh it was like uh air fryer but it was a grill as well anyway they wanted 12 pound for it and it was selling on ebay for 12.99 so it definitely wasn't worth picking up um they had done the research on that and put it on ebay pricing but again um it didn't show anywhere on it that it had been tested this is cool um is it a barometer i think it is i think that's what you call it um yeah, it's really nice. Anyway, I did a lot of research and then I found this um, through Google Lens. This was on Etsy and it's listed for £50.60, which is very random. But yeah, exactly the same one. So cool. Um, I did pick that up. And then I found these two lovely little lampshades. I always say that if I find them cheap enough, I'll get them, especially if there's a pair. Um, £2 each for those. So yeah, pick those up too. They look really clean and in really good condition, so I'm not sure that they're vintage. Right, I'm back home and this is what I picked up. So there isn't a massive amount here, but you know, it beggars can't be choosers at the moment. It's one of those things at the minute, the charity shops are not getting a lot of great stuff in and when they do get stuff in that's half decent, they price it really high. Let's play a game. Let's see if you can spot the mistake. I think I have already told you about it. So we'll see if you are listening to me. Have a look. See if you can spot the mistake. There we go. Anyway, this is what I picked up. So I've got these lovely brass goblets in this gorgeous velvet box. £5 for those. Love those. They are really nice. I got these two 
small vintage looking i don't think they are vintage but vintage looking lampshades um i like to pick these up where i can they can bring in decent money um i think for four pound I'll, I'll probably get about 20 back on those so it's not too bad this teapot this is a saddler teapot um it costs 750 and there you go you can see it on the bottom saddler elizabeth I, queen of england um, it's a nice teapot, but I think I may have made a mistake here. Um, when I Google lensed it, it came up with high prices. When I put it into eBay and looked at the soles, when I got home, not so much. I'm hoping it'll go well on Etsy. We'll see how we go with that though, guys. I have no idea. I've got a plus size Barbie here that I paid a pound for. She has no clothes, so I'm going to have to dress her. Two packs of Barbies here. This one was three. And this is like a lucky bag. I'm going to have to take this out on camera and we'll see if I've made a mistake with that. And then I've got three Barbies here. In fact, I think it's a Cindy and two Barbies. Um, four pound for that bag. But I have opened these up so I can get them out easy in a minute. And this lovely, um, I believe it is a barometer. Please Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, I will put it on eBay, right? Because I'll be Google lensing it and everything. But I paid £5 for this because when I Google lensed it, the same one came up on Etsy for £50. So I was like, okay, yeah, definitely worth a punt on that. So let me get these dolls out and we'll have a look and see what I've got here. Hopefully I haven't made a mistake here too. Right, this is what was in the bag. So this was in the bag that I couldn't see properly. So we've got an actual... Um, 90s Barbie here um, in the wrong clothes. She's got boys' clothes on, I think. We've got a little Mattel. It's either Kelly or Shelley doll. And we've got the Bratz Girls MG Entertainment doll here. So that was not a bad buy. This one, um, they are all good. Cindy needs a really good clean. Her face is filthy. But yeah, I've got two Barbies and a Cindy doll for four quid. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Not much more there than what I would pay normally. So it can never be a mistake. I've got loads of dolls to sort through now. So I'll be cleaning these up and yeah, seeing what I'm going to do with them. But let me know in the comments, guys, would you have bought the Brass Goblets for £5? So Brass Goblets, yes or no? Would you have bought the two lampshades for £2 each? Lampshades, yes or no? In the comments, please. Sadler teapot, £7.50. Let's see who agrees that I've made a mistake. Sadler, yes or no? Plus size Barbie for a pound. Would you have bought that? Just put Barbie, yes or no? Dolls for how much were these all together? £7. Would you have bought all these for £7? Dolls, yes or no? And the, what I believe to be a barometer, I'm probably saying the wrong thing. Um, <laughs> I normally do that a lot when I'm tired and then I realise that I've said the wrong thing later and think, oh, you all think I'm stupid. But I'm not, I promise you, I just get the wrong things out sometimes. Um, £5 for that. So put um, ship wheel barometer whatever you want to put yes or no whether you would have bought that um i'm happy with these i've just got to list it all now <laughs> can someone come and do it for me please anyway guys um i hope you've enjoyed the video i'm gonna leave it here because it's another long one um take care be kind stay safe sorry about the crackling i'll see you on the next one ta-ta